guys, today we will continue Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. So in the last video, it was where Justice uh, accused accused Orga Orly that she is the murderer. So let's continue save point. Wait, Mr. Right, you can end the trial here, Your Honor. Not yet. What nonsense is the defendant spewing now? I think one of the cards had a different color back. Don't you wonder what it means? What, what are you doing, Mr. Right? Raising objection right when you're about to get off the hook. Ridiculous. Mr. Payne, you of all people should know Mr. Right has a talent What the ridiculous <laughs> Okay Perhaps we should get to the bottom of things Let's clear up the fact about the game that faith Fateful Night As was said before, we alternate between two decks of cards that night that was said before. The two decks at the club have different color decks, blue and red. One color per deck. We use different color back. If we, we use the same color, the two decks might get mixed. Um, you use different colors and they still get mixed up. We use the red deck for the last game. Hmm, I see, but that's odd. For some reason, I have this impression that you were using the blue cards. Yeah, me too. I'm sure someone said something about blue cards. Whatever, in the end, one card of the wrong color got into the mix. Which means, that was cheating! Yes, a card slipped into the deck would seem to indicate cheating. Yet, this card raises two quite serious questions. Apollo? I yes! Let's consider the first question, shall we? Think. In the last game, when was the card swap? When? There are three board possibilities here. It could have been swapped before the murder, during the murder, or after the murder. Well, yeah, thanks for the news bulletin, Mr. Right. Of course, it was so... Oh, it might be as simple as you think, Mr. Payne, or it might be not be. <laughs> I'd like to hear what Apollo thinks first. When do you think the cards were swept? Hmm. When was the card set into the deck? I don't know, but I will save. When was the card swept into the deck? Hmm. I think before the murder. Well, it must be. It must have have happened before the murder. You mean during the game? I wonder. Am I choosing the wrong option again? <laughs> Why? Think. When you're playing poker, which side of the card face your opponent? Ah, the back. That's something the poker head of card number three would be likely to miss. Sorry, let me think about some some more. Hmm. 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 I think it was after the murder. Perhaps it's happened after the murder. Oh, what's that? Ridiculous. What's the point of cheating after the hands have been shown? That's silly. Yes, but tell me, 
How do you swap cards during the game? I take silly over impossible. Take it from me, son. There was a lot of silly in this world, but very little impossible. Oh, even when the backs of the cards are a different color? If you pull that during in the game, you'll be caught in no time. Ah, quite true. That don't mean that the blue card in question was swept after the hand return after the murder. Okay, this is going past silly and straight on to crazy. Ah yes again, what's the point of cheating after the game's over? Who would do that? Oh indeed, that's one of the mysterious before us. There's another? Yes, a simple yet decisive question must be yes. Who swap the red card for a blue card? Who? The game and the murder is done. The victim is dead. Only two remain in the room. Alive, that is. The defendant, Mr. Red, and our witness, Olga Orly. Okay, so who was it that swapped the red card for blue card? Who was it that swapped the red card for a blue card? Hmm. Olga Orly? Well, it must have been Olga Orly who swapped the cards. She was trying to cover up evidence of the cheating. That does make some sense. <laughs> Sorry, no, I'm choosing the wrong option again. Duh. But there's a problem with that explanation. Huh? The swap card was from the wrong deck. Yes, blue card was stuck into a red hand. Switching a card from the wrong deck. When the backs are different colors, Remember that you're talking about Orgali. She was the dealer. Do you really think she would make some, such an office mistake? Actually, I have trouble imagining even the judge making that mistake. Give it a little more thoughts, Apollo. Uh, right. Okay, so how was it? Okay. Okay, so it must be someone else. Uh, the one who was swapped the card wasn't Mr. Red, of course. And well, it doesn't seem like it could have been Orgarly either, yes, because I already chose that and it was wrong. But what are you suggesting? That's hardly a logical conclusion, admit. As a defense, I think it only makes sense for you to make two names to name Miss Orly at this point. Yes, yes, I know. But she was the one who dealt the card, right? I just can't believe she would make the mistake of swapping the wrong color card. And if the card was swapped during the game, it'd be obvious. <laughs> Something you like to share with the court, Mr. Wright? Oh, my apologies. Your Honor, I was just thinking how much fun all this is. Fun? How about confusing? I have no idea what the defense is claiming, Your Honor. If the one who swept the card wasn't the defendant and it wasn't Mr. Rorley, then who was it? Uh, yeah, well, that is the question, isn't it? <laughs> Precisely. Huh? I believe we're about to see this case take a new direction. A new direction. We find that indeed, after the murder, Someone swap one of the cards in the victim's hand, and that someone made two critical mistakes. Actually, you're going to tell us that the first was swapping the wrong color card because the one who did the swap didn't know two colors of cards were being used. The other mistake was the number of on the card. Right, the person re replaced the fifth ace with the king. I'm sure whoever swapped it wasn't expecting there to be a fifth ace after all. All they knew was that the game had been won with a full house. So they pick up a king from the table and swap it in. But, but there's one problem. According to our case record, this person doesn't exist. True, 
Not until now, but you have, a, have to admit the possibility of a fourth person. Though it's more than a possibility, there was someone else there that night at the scene of the crime. What? I believe the judge spoke truthfully earlier. You do make trials ridiculous, Mr. Wright. This trial has proceeded on one central assumption, namely that at the time of the incident there were only three people in that room. I believe this new evidence, shall we say, overturns that assumption. The problem is that you choose to conceal this information from the court. I suppose that is a problem, yes. Court is adjourned for a brief recess. Mr. Gavin, I see you in my chambers during this recess. Certainly, Your Honor. Very well, the trial will resume in 20 minutes.